Souls is love wrapped in a pair of canvas painted shoes that are sent across um, to uh, different locations to share a smile. And um, it's a way of connecting or sharing kindness heart to heart. Those would be words that I would use to describe what I do. I wish I could tell you that um, I founded Heartful Souls, but it kind of found me. It's an opportunity that um, God gave me to reach a uh, a lot of kids who are critically ill, um, some of them terminal. And what I do is I paint shoes that um, are covered in canvas, and I um, send these shoes um, to children. Uh, what I did was I created a, web, a page on Facebook, and I wasn't sure what would happen. I used to paint for another organization that does this. and. Um, their limits were just children with cancer. And I started finding out that there were a lot more children out there who had diseases with letters that, that spelled them out, more letters in them than children that I, were meeting, that I was meeting had in years. So these shoes um, on my website or my Facebook page, I just kind of put on a page that said Heartful Souls. And um, I sent it to a few friends, and within a matter of two months, it's grown to a thousand and two people. And all the people that are a part of this page are families who um, are somehow connected with a child who's terminally or critically ill. <clears throat> My idea to paint these shoes and raise money to provide these shoes was I'll use this Facebook page and I'll paint shoes for anyone who wants a pair of shoes and take that money and put it towards the real purpose, which is sending them to the children who are sick. Um, the thing that has amazed me in this um, opportunity is that it has taken on its own life. And I'm learning now that I have to turn this into a nonprofit organization so that I'm able to still create more shoes for these children. I have painted shoes for children all across the United States, and the thing that's so exciting is the internet, I've learned, is such a valuable tool because it has connected me with children um, and their families that I've been able to keep in touch with and encourage even after they get the shoes. To um, Another way of, of the connection is that um, people who um, maybe don't have a child that's sick see the shoes and they're like, oh, I want a pair of those. And so I've created an opportunity for them to learn to share kindness from their heart to a child um, that needs love. And so um, God has really blessed this opportunity. I have lots of people who have stepped up and said, I want to be a shoe angel and sponsor a child. And then um, I've suddenly got a waiting list now of children who are waiting to get a pair of shoes. And for most of them, time is a very important thing. Um, so I've learned that I need to spread this thing out and make more um, opportunities and more awareness of children who are so ill. I had no idea that there are thousands and thousands of children all over the world who are fighting with diseases like cancer and, and some diseases that I've never even heard of. These kids have become my heartbeat. They have become um, inspiration for me because I was just recently diagnosed with a weird autoimmune disease called Sjogren's disease. And um, so it's really limited what I can do. I used to be a full-time minister um, doing ministry. I've done that for over 20 years. And now I find myself having to cut back because of my disability. And so this has been a very exciting way for me to, to wake up every morning with a purpose 
and share God's love with children who desperately need to have a hug or a smile all wrapped up in a shoe. So you know they say that Cinderella had her life changed by a pair of shoes. So I'm hoping that you could be a prince <laughs> who will help me connect kindness um, heart to heart. And so that is my um, goal, and that is my heartbeat, and that's why I'm here today to share uh, this amazing opportunity that God has just kind of laid in my lap and blessed me with. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Great, Great presentation. And perfect. Are there any questions? I'm oh, sorry. For Peggy. She has a little prize hiding inside oh. here. <laughs> and what's really sad is these diseases hit, you know, there's, they don't come to people who are older. I paint for babies who, who are five months old with cancer. It's heartbreaking to know. It's kind of a bittersweet opportunity because, um, you know, this child, their parents just found out that she was um, diagnosed as a terminal situation. And so when we get a request like that, I try to get those painted really quick and out to the families. And so um, these are for a sponsor. Her favorite thing was um, Phantom of the Opera. And so we painted that for her. Every shoe has a heart on the back of it. And they also get a heart charm put on the shoe as well. Um, and our slogan is sharing kindness heart to heart. So. Thank you. Quite well. Uh, is the essence that if I know of children yes. that need shoes, I would come to you and say, here are those shoes, and I think we should, you, you paint these shoes with the various themes on them. Right. The children actually tell me what they want in their shoes. The shoes are designed to tell their story of what their favorite thing is now that they're, you know, on their journey. Um, and so we try to design them. Like this mom told me that her, she wanted her sho shoes painted with bees mm -hmm. for her little girl. So we took um, and made it B-U-T-Full, B-Well, B-Leave, B-Strong, B-Happy. And her name is all B. <laughs> oh. So we did everything with bees for her. I think this is an awesome program that you have. I mean, I don't know why I haven't heard about it before. But I just started it. <laughs> but um, it, I, I wish I could tell you I spent like months and <laughs> years trying to figure this out. But it truly was a blessing, a gift from God. I was painting for another organization. And I found out that she just gives kids uh, shoes that have cancer. And then as I created my site, I was getting all kinds of requests with all kinds of diseases and children well, who were hurting in so many different ways. Well, I immediately jumped to a little bit older senior people like the prince here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, us princes, we get sick too from time to time. <laughs> well, it's and been what really a wonderful <laughs> idea. What a, <laughs> what a wonderful idea would be to be able to expand a series of ages we actually, with people with the. Yes, we've problems. actually been able to do that. A lot of uh, people see the shoes and they're like, oh, I want a pair. So what I did was I said, yeah, I'd be happy to paint you a pair. It's actually $40. $40 is the secret number. So you can donate $40 to sponsor a pair of shoes, or you can actually buy a pair of shoes. And that money that um, they pick out their shoes, they decide how much they want to spend on their, sh uh, their own shoes, and then have them sent to me. They go online find the shoe that they want, send it to me, and then I um, take the $40, that's the charge for painting the shoes and mailing back, but most of that money then goes back into supplying more shoes. And then I have people who specifically just want to be shoe angels, and they just give me the $40. I've created a Facebook page that has all that online to explain, and the, the page is called Heart Full of Souls, with emphasis on the word art <laughs> and souls, S-O-L-E-S. So. Would you mind bringing it up just so we can see it? And then also, if we, if we wanted to donate $40, is it right on the Facebook page where yes, we can I'm, click on it? There's a PayPal account there. Right on the page. Mm -hmm. It's right okay. there on the page. Did you want to see that? Yeah, if you don't mind, if you could just show it. Barbara, you have a question too? Yes. Uh, 
Are you an artist? Were you? An I artist? am. Okay. I have two. Here, you make that happen. I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> I have two other um, artists. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Not... You want the Facebook page? You can make that happen. Yeah, I'm an artist. I'm not tech savvy. <laughs> But yes, I paint the shoes. I have two other artists who work with me, and it's all done as a volunteer um, way of just sharing a love that needs to be shared with children who are really hurting. There you go. Are you looking for other volunteers? I am. Actually, I, I'd like to see the work of the artist, but yes. And I'm actually meeting with the CPA next week to talk about fundraising and becoming a nonprofit because this thing has become bigger <laughs> than I ever thought. I started my uh, page at the end of January, and I've got 1,002 people now and a waiting list for children who need shoes. So um, it's pretty exciting. I think it's interesting to see how you have progressed your journey, the evolution of your program. You began as most startup businesses begin as a nonprofit. And now you want to progress to be a nonprofit, you said. Right. So. My purpose was like actually selling shoes to healthy people so that I would have money to provide shoes for children who are sick. I understand. And the letters and the I wish if if you go on my page you can see the thank you videos from the children, from the parents and um, comments. Um, it's it just it's my heartbeat now. Do you have a plan on how you can um, multiply yourself? other artists possibly, but do you have any type of mechanization in mind in mind now uh, where parts of it can be done automatically in some fashion uh, so that the part that you would lay to the shoe can be less than 100%, but you can multiply your effort wider? Because this is obviously going to take off. I do have friends who are interested to be involved in the corp corporation or the nonprofit or whatever <laughs> it's going to be called. Um, who, uh, um, like I said, I've been in ministry. 20 years so I have a lot of friends who have become very passionate about this with me and um, I figure God's given me this opportunity and he's gonna send the right people uh, like he did with Kina she's been a real blessing to me we just met last weekend and so um, I'm just trying to keep up with God right now <laughs> congratulations thank you so what I'm hearing is structure yeah and, and nonprofit is is definitely ringing in my ears and right. I hear the word collaboration so mm -hmm. you want to collaborate with other nonprofits where there's a where there's a link with working with children right um, and one of your one of your um, best links will be the foundation center in Washington okay the next nonprofits um, grant makers with grant seekers oh great mm -hmm. okay. the other thing is the minute you started talking and I saw the shoes I thought of my seven-year-old grandson we come from a car making family so he's not ill thank god yeah but i can see him with a pair of sneakers with cars on it yes so I, are we not are we are we just focused towards the, the kids who have no i think that what's really fun in that is it's teaching kids who um, are healthy to actually be connected with kids who are sick and to encourage them through a pair of shoes what's really cool is once you've become a sponsor um and i I connect you with a child and what's been exciting to me is I'm sending shoes out to like places like Minnesota and um, Ohio I mean all over the place I even got a request from Spain the most unusual request from if you've seen the show on TV um, the Gator Boys I painted a shoes for a pair of shoes for Jimmy's niece. Her name is Brooke, and she wanted Gator princesses <laughs> on her shoes. I was really surprised when that request came through. But so, um, you know, there, the idea is to um, have people who are healthy or even sick. I mean, what's amazing to me is these families who have sick children are the first ones who want to sponsor a pair of shoes. Um, there's a lady. Um, who has a little girl here named Riley at Rehoboth. Um, she sponsored shoes for three other children that are sick. They understand what a pair of shoes like that can do. And so they're very generous in helping. Two more questions. Uh -huh. um, so would I provide his shoes to you? Yes, you would send me a pair of shoes, mm -hmm. and then it's $40 okay. to do that. And then that $40 will provide a pair of shoes for my kids on the, the waiting list. And what would be the turnaround time? It usually takes me about two weeks 
the, okay. the longest, Great. depending on my list, too. And um, of course, the children who are sick are always first, um, depending on their situations as well. But usually within two weeks, I can get them out. They would be going to Nebraska. <laughs> OK, yeah. And, and lastly, um, what's your, what's your five-year goal here? What's, what's your vision? What's your five-year goal? Oh, I would love to be able to make people aware of the importance of putting a smile on these kids' faces. I had no idea there are so many children in the world with terrible illnesses. I mean, we're talking five months old to my oldest child just turned 15 yesterday, and he was in the hospital last week, and he was supposed to go back in yesterday, and his mother sent me a message that said, thank you all so much for your prayers because his insurance wasn't approved yet for him to be in the hospital yesterday, so he got to be home for his birthday. <laughs> they were so excited about that. So um, we, we actually reached quite a few children in ages. And I'm back to structure. <laughs> what, one of the thoughts, do you, um, is there a way if, if someone was able to relate to one of these illnesses and they said, okay, well, this child has this illness. I'd like to donate shoes for this. Do you do that or you just yeah. throw it on top of the list? We, we, we uh, will take shoes or um, sponsors um, in any situation that will help us get shoes to a child. The thing that is so unique to me is the timing in this. I was just diagnosed with Sjogren's a month ago and I've been working with these shoes for probably four months. And there's a verse in the Bible that talks about how Psalms 139 moments, I call them, how God runs ahead of you and he prepares a way. And um, this was definitely a Psalms 139 moment for me because when I was diagnosed with Sjogren's, it's a pretty scary illness. I mean, it takes all the moisture out of your body. It's limited my ability to walk. Oh, he told me not to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> my opportunity sometimes to speak. Um, and so this has become an opportunity now for me to uh, be able to reach children. They're, they've become my heartbeat. And I think it's awesome how now that I have this disease, I can't complain about it when I'm meeting children who have diseases that are longer in letters than they are in age. So um, they've definitely become my courage as I'm facing all this and giving me a purpose every day to wake up. So. Do you have a need for artists to participate? I do have, <laughs> yeah, it's growing. And as it continues to grow, I, I will definitely, I have two other artists who are working for me. Here's another cool thing, Vernon Powell called me out of the blue, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be there next Saturday painting shoes. Tom's is actually working with us. And so uh, we'll be painting shoes and introducing uh, the Heartful Souls to people there. and. Um, getting sponsorships, hopefully. So all these unique doors are opening up that I have not knocked on, and I'm pretty excited about that. So. Are, there, are there any more questions? No? OK, well, I'm going to end with the last one. Um, what can we do as a community to support you? Um, you can pray for us. You can, um, if, if you want to support um, a child with a pair of shoes, that would be awesome. If there's opportunities where I can come and share Heartful Souls with your organization, if you know anyone who wants to uh, be involved. Uh, we want to do fundraisers, too. Um, we want to have events. Like our first event we're doing is called Ladies' Night Out, and we're going to do a quarter auction at the Georgia House at Sussex Pines. We're working on that right now. But uh, I want to create events that are going to be fun for these children and bring them to a place where they feel safe and they feel loved and they have a sense of hope that people care. And so if there's any way you would want to be involved in that, um, I have a card I can pass out and um, I'd be happy to share that with you. Right.